hood should work. Must be careful now. <laughs> I need your eyes, my friend. to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside.
other side. the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapon to Nama. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
see to it. Great.
before I let you take this fortress! I'll cut you down, Dan! Dane. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetment. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill me men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! I'll return you to the Saxons. Ah. <clears throat> you there! Heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Uh, I need... I need air. He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey.
fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. the brothers, or the abbot's men. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu, I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit. Ava, eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Eivor. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kunibert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Steal yourself, Eivor, or Sigurd is lost to us. Your guard waits on the edge of my axe, Saxons! You heard the lady! Leave no one alive! I'll have to try that much. 
Okay, let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. <laughs> If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground.
Give me a hand with this. Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. To arms, Basil! So we are to blunder in like an ox? This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. Place. Secret is within. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but is not their head. By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it?
What is it? Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have! A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tebman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Nos mitte nos sin alte hospes. Ote conspecto hominum quale dilexe, ego sum e verite, qua tantum amas den qui elegit, ma ad vaso focato. Cum magna voce latrari canes belli cubile exarsit. Sic faciam wimpor felium et ambulato per iuga. Nantum cam... Incomprehensible gludas qui erat disciplos ex homine di vismonde. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away, a place of mist, wonder, and a temple. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive. But not with you. 
Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... she slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Stop there, Wolfkist! This ends now! Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed! Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage! Very well. Let the circle be made! The wolf! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Please! Please, both of you! Is that the best you can do? Only 
for what I must do. Do you not see what you do? There's no honor in this. What do you know of honor that Sigurd did not teach you? I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. You could have come with me. You are a fool, Dag. You see why it has gotten you. Silence! any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this, and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields. And dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. I promise. Dag. You lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well.
The Wolfka. So glad to see you. 